name is Mariam and I'm from grade 9. Now in our biology class, we, during the first term, we learned about the circulatory system. Now what is the circulatory system? Well, this system pumps blood throughout our entire body. And how does it do it? From a muscular pump known as the heart. Now it all starts from the head and neck. So the blood is from the carotid artery and the jugular vein. Now these uh, blood passes into the other veins known as the subclavian artery and the subclavian vein. From here on, it then passes into the heart. Now the heart is a very specific organ and the blood pa passes into it from an inferior vena cava. Now this is blood from the entire body, from the head, and another vessel known as the superior vena cava. These two blood vessels bring the blood into the right atrium. From the right atrium, it goes into the right ventricle. So think of it as this, as a box. So it goes from the right atrium into the right ventricle. From here, it passes to the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery carries the blood to the lungs, where it becomes oxygenated. We can see two colors in this diagram, red and blue. Now what's the use of this? Well, the blue symbolizes the oxygenated blood, while the red symbolizes the deoxygenated blood. The oxygenated blood allows oxygen to be transferred to all cells in the body, while the deoxygenated blood takes the blood, out, the, the waste products of carbon dioxide and so, and takes it to the heart where it is given to the lungs and is converted into oxygenated blood. So as I was saying, think of it as a box, right atrium and right ventricle, and left atrium and left ventricle. This goes as a, a counterclockwise. So it passes from the right atrium into the right ventricle. Now the right, the right ventricle passes the blood into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery sends the blood to the lungs where it becomes oxygenated. This blood is brought back to the heart from the pulmonary vein, which, is, uh, which carries the blood to the heart. Now it does the same process, only this time on the left side. So it goes from the left atrium to the left ventricle and then passes out through the aorta. Now the aorta spreads it out to the head and to the body. So now, now that the heart has done its job for now, it, is good. it then goes into the hepatic vein and the hepatic artery. Now these veins are for an organ known as the liver, which is the largest gland in the body. And this, vein, this organ is really important. Why? Because it has many functions. It first deaminates protein into amino acids and converts it into urea for excretion and also makes bile. Now bile helps emulsifies fats. By that I mean turns, small, uh, turns large portions of fats into tiny globules of fat, which is very helpful for surface area and helps speed up the reaction. From the hepatic artery to the hepatic vein, there's also a portal vein from the liver to the small intestines. This is known as the hepatic portal vein. The substances from the small intestine go into the liver for it to be deaminated into urea. Now, from here, it goes into the kidneys. So the hepatic ar artery and the hepatic vein move from, to the renal vein and the renal artery, to the kidneys. Now, the kidneys have a very specific function for ultrafiltration. This means that it takes all the bad substances out, such as urea uh, and salts and such, stuff like these out of the body, and keeps things such as red blood cells, white blood cells, which are helpful for the body. Now, it then passes onwards into the iliac vein, into the iliac artery, which is here at the legs. Now here, it, the iliac vein and the iliac artery just passes the blood here. Now, as I'm discussing this, it may be confusing for you to realize what's the difference between a hepatic artery and a hepatic vein. Well, the thing is that hepatic arteries carry blood away from the heart, such as hepatic artery. This, blood, this carries the blood away from the heart, which means that this has the oxygenated blood. While the, hepat uh, while the hepatic vein carries blood towards the heart. So the hepatic artery, the, all the arteries carry blood that is oxygenated to, towards, the, towards the part that it requires, while the, uh, while the veins carry the blood to the heart where it, become, where it needs to become oxygenated. I hope this helps you understand the circulatory system.